jeez. <laughs> oh, and we are live. I believe. Yeah, there we go. We're good. Well, hello, everyone. Hope everyone's having a good Wednesday. We're back again on the Hunter Call of the Wild. This time we came to Hirschfelden. It's been a while since we've been on Hirsch. Joined, as always, by my good man here, Mr. Non. How's it going, Good G'day, g'day, g'day. I'm <laughs> um, very well, thank you. Thanks for uh, inviting me out once again. All good, man. Glad you could make it. As you see, we were just doing a little target practice before stream, trying to get these these uh, recurves sighted in. But let's jump to the chat real quick. <laughs> I think it's about 50-50. We, we got a few that missed <laughs> and hit that container back there. But... <laughs> Well, let's see who was first in the chat today. We had Mr. Matthew was first. Good to have you, Matthew. Fry me was in a close second, and Henry was third, followed by Mr. Tango. How are you all doing? And Love Storms is here as well. So is Rib Cooker and Brooksy. How's it going, Brooksy? Good to have you all here. Well, the title says it all. Uh, not only are we coming to Hirsch, but I busted out this old thing as well. I want to take majority of the animals with this here. It's the hawk edge. We do have the recurve, but unfortunately it doesn't give us integrity on everything here. Um, but we also brought, just in case there's a stubborn animal that doesn't want to come in close, I uh, brought the Mosin as my backup rifle. How about you, Non? What all are you carrying today? Oh, look at that. He shoots magical arrows. Do that again. <laughs> It's like the bow of Icarus, if any of y'all are into <laughs> mythology. <laughs> but it's a, it doesn't shoot an arrow. I mean, there's no visible arrow there that you're drawing back. And then phew, arrow comes oh, really? flying out the front. Yeah, watch on stream when you <laughs> when you shoot it. That's uh, pretty funny. <laughs> oh, whoops, me... And Vector's here as well. So is Black Cyclone. Is that Cyclone? That is Cyclone. Cool. Good to have you with us, and Fisherman Roo. Well, what do you say, Nom? Let's get uh, headed away from this area and see what animals we can run into. Try to as like a plan. Bow a few things. Yep. But yeah, uh, I have, sorry, I've got the uh, two, two, three with me as well, and the uh, drilling and the Mosin. Nice. The oh, you're right. set then for long range. If we have any stubborn animals, oh, yeah. Mister Non's going to take them out for us. Tr uh, try. Very hard. <laughs> it does look like a horse bow roo instead of a recurve. You're right. Is it? Oh, you mean like a horseback? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I believe at least I believe that's what he's saying. That's what okay. I understood it as. Yep, yep. But yeah, the Hirschfelden map isn't too active because unfortunately I just don't spend enough time on it. Um. Baranga and uh, Leighton Lakes get most of the love. So I wanted to come out here, especially with Trophy Lodges coming out tomorrow, and uh, spend a little time on Hirschfeld and maybe spot some prospects or harvest a few smaller animals and hope they come back bigger. And Northeast Woodman. Zone stacked up, eh? Oh, yeah. Definitely could use it on Medved and Hirsch, really, because I really just don't hunt these two. And Northeast Woodsman is here as well. Oh, we got a fox track it's probably an old one though but let's check it real quick see if we can find some droppings and very nice rib cooker shot two level four fallows yesterday oh nice yeah those level four fallows look really good they almost look as good as the fives the fives just look amazing though oh we're on the road here already Is that the one caller I didn't grab? I may I not mine. have grabbed a row. If I can find it, I have got mine. <laughs> uh, Let me check my inventory real quick, actually. See if I brought mine. Lures. Found oh, it. There it is. I got mine, too. Don't get any cover here, really. I think it's just on the other side of that little hill there. Yeah, I think so. Will this give us any cover? Oh, yes, it will. Oh, no, it won't. Not the cover I'm looking for. <laughs> Move slowly. I didn't see it run off in the distance, so I'm assuming it's still there. 
And nice, Victor says he'll probably hop on Hirsch tomorrow as well. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to go on Leighton or Veronga first um, when the Lodge comes out. But definitely one of those two are going to be on my... Oh, there it is right there. 66 meters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Try nice. 60, oh, no, turn back around. Give it another call here, see if we'll come back in a little yep, closer. Yeah, I just gave it one. It really? Should turn around, I think. I'm not hearing your calls at all. Oh. I didn't hear yours either, actually. One of those game things. <laughs> well, you got one right there beside you. <laughs> Female. Oh. <laughs> if you want oh, to yeah. drop her, I'll try to drop this guy. Three, two, one. Oh, I shot right over the top of him. He must have came in yeah, quite a I, bit closer than 60. <laughs> I can tell you this tree is not going anywhere. Yep, I, I, I nailed that you, tree. You nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see your... Oh, nope, there it is. Uh, I picked it up. Yeah. There's oh, it's still in the tree. I picked it up already. Yep. Wow. It's still there, right there. Broken arrow. Well, we're starting <laughs> off real good for a bow hunt. We both missed our first two shots. <laughs> <laughs> um, we should yeah. have brought Julia with us, I think. <laughs> right. And hey, Cords, how's it going? It. Yeah, we should have brought hey, Julia Cords. for sure. Rib cooker. The yeah. single pin sight for the bow is is really good. The only reason I like the three pin over it, honestly, is just for uh, sight. You can see a lot more around the uh, pin. But the single pin is pretty good. I used it for the longest time. The five pin, in my opinion, that's it's. it's too many pins, too much clutter. Where did this guy run off to? He booked it, booked it, apparently. Figured he'd still be in view here. But these water's mm -hmm. edges are really good to check out. Oh, he's still in that brush somewhere, I bet. Oh, yep, yep. I see him right there. I'm going to lay down. Let's see if we can call him in here. grass down a little bit so we got a clear line of sight and we'll have to pay better attention to our zeroing the zeroing is really important when it comes to these bows compared to rifles you can be off a little bit with the rifle and still make a good shot come on guy you're going the wrong way <laughs> rib cooker wants to know if i've ever cussed on a video and used the road deer call to mute it out uh, no, I, I haven't. Not yet. <laughs> and hey, Pretty Solid idea, 7. Though. How's it going, man? <laughs> good to see you. Just saw him in there, but he was walking away. Hopefully he'll turn around and come back. We'll give him a few moments here. Oh, there he is. Vector Just says inside. it looks like a quite a nice two, that one. It does, actually. Oh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad, honestly. It looks pretty good. A couple of little points on his head. Yep. Oh, here he comes. You know, that's exactly at six. Oh, yeah, you can't shoot the bow laying down. Used to the crossbow. Man, once the crossbow came out, I really didn't use... Whoa, did you see that? Nope. I just I caught can't... the end of it there, but he'd like... Look, is that him supposed to be breathing? Holy cow. Oh, has he got that alien thing, has he? Yeah, that diaphragm expands a little much, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can't pop up and take a shot on him real quick. He's at 40. Oh, nice. We hit him. Oh, yeah. Don't know uh, where we hit him exactly. 50, 75. It's going down. Must have only 25, 50. Single lung, maybe? I don't know. Zero, 25. He should be dead. And Cody Maxwell is here as well. What's going on, Cody? Good to have you here. I'm going to need zone here from him anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure what we hit there. I was aiming for the center of the chest there, trying to hit the heart, but apparently we missed. Maybe you got a leg in the way or something and just hit one lung. Quite possibly. Was that him? He was 30 to 35 kilograms? Wow. Wow, that's pretty good. Good size row. Yeah, well. And I'm almost positive my checks are going to be no good. 
because he is decent looking. I almost wish we had him up, but we'll go ahead and pick him up. He's not a max level or anything. And yeah, we uh, shot low. Wow, we shot considerably low. I wasn't paying attention to the Ooh. wind. Did it, would it <laughs> shove it down that far? Holy cow. Because we were zeroed at 40 and we were holding about right here. So that dropped quite a bit. And there you go. Yeah, he was a nice one, Vector. He was still a 731 with only 13% quick kill. But my can checks are good. So that's good to know. And it looks like we had some pigs in this area. And some more road deer. And some fox. Uh, Rib Cook is asking if you like uh, uh, mule deer antlers in Call of the Wild. There's a fox. Female. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of them. Oh. oh. <laughs> I heard you say there's a fox and I was like, what are you on about? <laughs> Just taking pot shots at it with the recurve. <laughs> And uh, Love Storms is here, but she can't stay, unfortunately. Oh, that's all right, Love Storms. Thanks for dropping in. Good to see you. And yeah, she just came running right past us. So this is kind of a pinch point here. Oh, nice. Did you drop her? Don't know. <laughs> I'll go and have a look. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, you almost startled me there. <laughs> so, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got some Yeah, my, re my recurve's got a bit of extra noise to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to get a whisker biscuit on that thing so we don't hear the uh, arrow take off so loudly. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's down. Very nice. And can checks are good as well. Five medium female. Very nice. 752, almost a gold. Very nice. I like mm. when you can get the golds or even diamonds out of the females. I think that's pretty cool. We got a roe deer or a red deer there. Sorry, but she's uh, or he is on the other side of this lake and 156 meters away. That would be a heck of a bow shot there. I don't think we can hit that. <laughs> But maybe we'll circle around the bottom of the lake here and work our way back around. And Dylan Fender just rolled in. How's it going, Dylan? And Rick Togeskov? I'm sorry, I probably just butchered your last name, but thanks for the subscription there. Welcome to the channel. Where can he cross at? I bet he can't cross anywhere here because we can't. I don't want to have to go all the way to the bridge to go around to him. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there is a crossing anywhere around here, is there? Except the bridge. No, maybe up there to the north of the lake, or west of the lake, sorry. Um, maybe we'll just leave that guy. We did get his uh, uh, need zone, so. Yep. And yeah, it gets me every now and then, too. And hey, Zaggy, how's it going? And Sergeant Goober as well. So is Duke Bowman. Welcome, everybody. Hey, guys. Just out for a little bow hunt here on Hirschfeld. Actually, I, I'll be honest. This uh, wasn't a 100% original idea here. I got to give props to uh, Mr. Tree Kiwi. I was watching him earlier on Twitch, and he was doing a bit of uh, bow hunting here on Hirschfeld. And it looked like he had a good time, so I figured, why not? We hadn't been on Hirsch in a while, and we hadn't used the bows in a while, so why not come out here and give it a go? Worst comes to worst, we're picking up some need zones, which are much needed for my Hirschfelden map. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't even get me started on need zones for Hirschfelden. <laughs> Mine's empty. <laughs> well, I mean, a lot of you guys, you've seen my Varonga map and my Leighton map. Look. <laughs> there's one need zone there, one there. I mean, there's not even five need zones in any spot when I'm zoomed in. It's 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 pretty bad. 
but we'll continue. Come I want to work in north it. and come up to the south side of that lake that's just to the north here. Um, we just got sidetracked by animals. But I think we're at a dead end. We are. <laughs> I totally forgot about this little peninsula here on the map. But looky there, we just got two different need zones. One from a fallow and one from a row. So I'll take it. And that's actually the way I want to head so we can get off this peninsula, run out of here. Okay. <laughs> Getting called out for my pronunciation there. <laughs> <laughs> Danish names aren't easy to pronounce. Uh, that they aren't, especially for a Texan. We pronounce everything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, rib cooker, that's been a thing for quite a while now. The uh, red deer are still bugged with the elk sounds. Hopefully, oh, yeah. you never know. We may have that fix in a patch coming tomorrow. You never know. They like to throw in some bug fixes with the content they release. So wouldn't I noticed be surprised. In, yeah. I noticed in the beta play for uh, Leighton that we didn't have any uh, dwarf elk anymore. That's Looked true. Like they, were, they would fix those. So. That's true. So maybe they fixed that along with the collar. At least hopefully. Or not the collar, the calls they make. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And I'm also looking forward to what new Easter eggs we'll get. Because it seems to be a thing. You know, every time we get new content, they also put out new Easter eggs for the new and upcoming content. So we'll have to keep an eye out for uh, everything. And yeah, Hendry, I saw that for consoles, the lodges are out already. Unfortunately, uh, the, the DLC is to buy. But the patch for the game that allows you to use them... Uh, isn't out till tomorrow. Because go and check, Henry. You should be able to uh, buy the lodge, but I don't think you'll be able to access it until tomorrow when the patch actually rolls out. It's kind of a tease how they do that to us. Yeah, well, it looks like Steam's been a bit slack because we don't even have that option yet, last I checked. <laughs> no, but Steam with Steam, it's it seems to be different than the consoles. With Steam, it's like they release it and it's out, out. You know, everything at yeah. once. With the consoles, it's like they put the DLC out a day before. And then the, uh, you know, the actual patch for the game will come out on the day of release. Yep. <laughs> and Cork is just doing the dishes. Uh, nice. I feel sorry for you, Cork. That's one thing as far as kitchen work comes. I hate doing the dishes. I don't know what it is. Maybe I need taller counters, but just sitting there bent over the sink washing dishes just tears my back apart. I'd rather go shovel rocks than do dishes. <laughs> and I'm I'm not exaggerating in the least bit. I'm dead serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he sees us there. He's starting to get alert. I see his little antlers poking up over there. Let's see if we can get him to pop up over that edge there. If I can ever find the right collar. The wind's terrible. It's shifted right towards them. Oh, you got that yo-yo antler rattle. Cool. <laughs> oh, and you're using the long-range knockies. The got one? him up backwards again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> it, makes it makes him look like he's further away. <laughs> Go ahead and hit your rattler call for me there. That is talent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow it said, so that's what it looked like when i did it <laughs> yep <laughs> oh, i bet this guy boogered off already he uh he was only like 50 meters away and i did not realize the wind had shifted west oh yeah no and we were strolling along like it was uh sunday yeah that even think <laughs> this is very true and yep he bought it but can't use it Okay, there's look at there, quite a few. Ooh, See now, there's a four easy, not a need zone, just to the left of that one. Now the four easy, I wouldn't mind dropping that guy. Uh, no, I want to put him in a lodge because <laughs> he's just tiny and pathetic. I, I want to have a tiny pathetic lodge, one of them anyway. <laughs> just be animals that you walk in there and you're like, whoop, why are these on the wall? <laughs> Especially the tr level one trivials. They are super tiny. I can't get an accurate read on that guy. I bet he's around 200. 
what do you think, non, on that level four there? Um, I would go 243. All right, we'll, we'll get just a yeah, little two, bit closer. Yeah, 240, yeah. And we're going to have to go with the boomsticks on this one because, uh, yeah, they're going to spook before they get anywhere near us with the scent being like it is. Quite a few animals over here, though. Actually, I wonder. No, see, that road deer's already smelling this. I just got you another zone off that level four fellow. Oh, nice. I was going to say, it's not giving me any kind of zone. I just got you two. One was a feed, one now is a drink. <laughs> Very nice. I'll take it. Well, now that we got those, let's uh, let's take out this mail here. You want to line up on something else? We'll use the boomsticks for this. Uh, I could take the row out if you want. Although you've got that. Oh, three most definitely coming back in. Most definitely, Sergeant Goober. I can drop them from three hundred meters, no problem. I uh, originally wanted oh, to yeah. use the bow on them. But, uh, yeah, the wind's terrible, so we're not going to get them that close. But, yeah, if you want to drop that three or whatever you want to shoot, let me know when you're I ready. I can try for the three. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, you dropped yep, him right down. in his tracks. Nicely done. <laughs> and Daniel Garcia just subscribed. Thanks for the subscription there, Daniel. And all good, Vector. Have a good night, man. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Nicely done. You must have got that guy want. in the heart, huh? I, I don't know. He turned literally at the last second as you fired. <laughs> ah, that's why. You got multiple organs there. Left lung, stomach, and liver. So, very nice. Okay. 741. Nice. And hey, SOS and SYS. That would be the Helfrick siblings. Welcome to the stream. S Y S. Yeah, that's what uh, Caden wanted to be called. That's the younger, uh, right, yeah. Stasis' youngest son. Fair <laughs> I hadn't heard that one yet, but anyway. <laughs> G'day, guys. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there's quite a few need zones here. And Zaggy just subscribed. Zaggy, quit unsubscribing. <laughs> See, that's the problem, guys, when you get multiple channels there, and Sean Lobb is here as well. Welcome, Sean. Uh, with the new setups, because of the whole PewDiePie sub-war, whatever, it seems people that have multiple uh, channels, they are they get unsubscribed automatically. Every, I don't know, it seems like it's every month or so, Zaggy resubscribes <laughs> to me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, that's his second channel. Oh, well, there you go, see? <laughs> but I remember there was a time where he uh, he had thought he was still subscribed, and for some reason he unsubscribed, I think, to me, Ricky, Rick, quite a couple, number of us. Yeah, YouTube notifications have been off a bit today. I almost missed Non's premiere because of that. I caught uh, a good portion of it, though, and it was a really good one. If you didn't catch it during the premiere, I highly suggest you go catch a rewatch. Cheers, man. But yeah, I've noticed the uh, notifications seem to be like, sometimes like half an hour after the video has been released, you know? Yeah. I, I get notifications of stuff. And it's just like, well, I already watched that. <laughs> <laughs> and hey Dave, doing good. How about yourself? And Gaming Gargoyle is here as well. And now Zaggy RL just subscribed. Welcome to the channel, Zaggy RL. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but yeah, Gigi. Gigi's uh, doing the dishes as well. So he's in the same boat as uh, Quartz there. But thanks for the watch there, uh, Gaming Gargoyle. He says, hope everyone has hit that like button. Yeah, we've got some fallow there to the west, but we're not going to fight the wind to try to call them in. Let's just uh, keep moving north here. Checking a few fox tracks as we go and other tracks. Oh, we had a bison through here. Really? Ooh. Bison all the way over here now. Interesting. I don't see the track for bison. Right here? You don't see this? That's a fox. What? What? That's a bison on my screen. <laughs> oh, it's a fox. We need to find this fox bison. 
I want to see a fox that leaves a footprint like that. <laughs> well, I was going to say, yeah, I want to see one that big. <laughs> That's a, a were fox. I'm going to be running the other direction. Right? Yeah, a fox that big, I don't think I want to mess with. <laughs> And Court says the dishes crew. That's right. Well, good on you, though, for doing the dishes. It's always good to help the ladies out in the house, in the kitchen especially. I know they appreciate that. And yeah, Sergeant Goober, I haven't really played much Call of the Wild either, man. I'm just waiting for those lodges to come out. I'm terrified that we'll run into a, you know, a piebald diamond or something like that. And, uh... Yeah, I don't want to see any of that till tomorrow. <laughs> the risk, the resistance will have to be strong with you on that one if we do spot one. <laughs> yep. Well, it's not only that; it's the fact that you know. I know I've seen Flinter do it. I've seen Zaggy do it. You know, they're they're out scouting for the um, for the lodges. You know, spotting those bigger, rare animals and just leaving them be. But yep. you know, we don't know for sure what's all in this patch, and you know. If they roll out another population reset or something, uh, you know, all our hard work could be for nothing. <laughs> of, you know, scouting and spotting the animals and stuff. So I, I don't know. I was just on the fence all the way around. But I wasn't going to miss a stream. Even though, I, I'm not going to lie, I was tempted to skip it. But I have too much fun hanging out here with Nan and all you guys. And uh, I can just do another stream tomorrow at some point when uh, Zaggy and Flinter are done over the lodge, you know, I, I can't wait. I'm going to be playing a lot of Call of the Wild tomorrow, just trying to fill the lodges. <laughs> well, we gave uh, Flinter a bit of a challenge, whether he uh, thought it was real or not, but to uh, fill a lodge in 24 hours, uh, you know. Oh, well, now, now, uh, see, uh, that's, that's very doable, though. You, you, were there, oh, there yeah, any oh. <laughs> restrictions on that? <laughs> uh, all diamonds. <laughs> oh okay well then yeah if it's an old diamond then yeah good luck good nah, luck to you Flint. <laughs> but you know nah, if you were just shooting animals period you could what was it 190 something plaques in the beta uh was yeah but i think they might have reduced that now with the floor stands they they might have so i mean even let's just say they reduce it by 40 or so say we've got 150 even 100 you know 150 animals it's not hard to kill in a day well, we did uh, Wreckfest, didn't we? So, oh, yeah. We did that in two hours, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so if you're just trying to fill the lodge that way, it uh, it's yeah. very doable. But, yeah. Hey, Koviet's here. Hey, Koviet. Good to see you. Long time. Hope everything's going well with you. And all the above is here as well. And, hey, yes, old. if y'all didn't catch that earlier today, that was quite a good time. Uh, didn't get the notifications till they were halfway in on that as well but uh zaggy and flinter started a uh i believe it's zaggy's channel but they did a podcast type of deal over on twitch earlier today which i don't know if you were able to catch it non because of time zones and things but um it was pretty cool man and answering all kinds of questions the community was asking you know all the way from just call the wild stuff to streaming stuff to discord it was uh it was awesome I actually caught uh, the one on YouTube, I think, which was the replay from Twitch last night. I was up till about uh, 11 o'clock last night listening to that. It was uh, pretty. Very nice. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's probably it. His... That was yeah. there. Zaggy says my Twitch, Twitch his YouTube. Day. No, this was the second one, I believe. Oh, okay. I listened to the first one, so. Oh, okay. I was trying to be slow and quiet because usually... There's something in these little short trees here. This reminds me of a Christmas tree farm. I don't know if y'all have Christmas yeah. tree farms, but <laughs> that's what this reminds me of. Go to a Christmas tree farm in, like, March. <laughs> Bunch of tiny little bitty trees. But, yeah, I may even do some... Uh, speaking of everybody talking about Twitch, I may even do... Uh, copy the old Zaggy and Flinter a bit. Do a short stream on the youtube and then you know just while i'm doing the everyday gameplay stream it over on twitch who knows may even talk one of those guys into doing a multi-stream on twitch so stay tuned nice. to the discord 
which I did upgrade the link for those of you who tried to join last week and the link was expired. I didn't realize when you create a Discord link that you can set an expiration date for it. So I now created a permanent link uh, for the Discord and put that down in the description below. So hopefully that all works like it's supposed to. Well, I know... Yeah, we're coming up to those this lake up here, and I've got a few fallow need zones at this lake. So I guess we'll continue to take it nice and slow so we don't spook anything. Yep. But yeah, this map is gorgeous. It's uh, aesthetically very, a very pleasing map. It's just uh, I don't hunt it that often, so I don't have the, the need zones and things stacked like I do on Layton, so... Hence the lack of animals, you know, there's on Layton, I feel I can't go two to 300 meters without seeing an animal. <laughs> but on yeah, here, it I makes it... This map's kind of a laid back map, isn't it? It so, is. You know, it's a uh, kickback. A little, you yeah. know, go for a walk and spot some animals. <laughs> yep, basically. Much like uh, I find Fernando's that way as well. I don't do a lot of running around, you know, on uh, Fernando either, like I do Layton and Veronga. And Medved even. On these maps, I tend to play it a lot slower. And Big Block just dropped in. Says, happy hunting, man. Internet is still crap. Just wanted to swing by and drop a like. Hope everyone watching does as well. Well, thanks for that, Big Block. Hopefully they can get your hey, Big Block. internet situation sorted sooner than later. Okay, and that lake, yep, directly north of us here. But yeah, I'm, I don't know. I, lodges are so huge. I'm so excited for tomorrow. It's uh, it's long overdue that we have something like that for Call of the Wild. It brings a whole new purpose to the game, really. Yeah, oh yeah. And I, I'm really impressed with the price point as well. They, you know, they went with three ninety nine, which is cheaper than all the map DLCs. And this was a DLC I was, you know, expecting, you know, if they were ever going to charge a higher amount, this would be the DLC to do it. But they didn't. They said, you know, this, they think it's so great and they're so proud of it that they wanted to make it a cheaper price point that, you know, so everybody will buy it. They want everybody to get on board with the trophy lodge. So I thought that was pretty cool. And Dave is asking, any clue what time tomorrow for the Lodge, he specific standard time? I have no idea. Um, even I asked TK earlier today if he had any idea, and he said, you know, no idea. Probably sometime after lunch, his time, which is still super early in the morning, I believe, for us. So, uh, fingers crossed, I'm hoping it's up when I wake up. <laughs> yeah, we usually get it around about... 11 p.m. I think our time one day in the future so that doesn't make any sense but I'm confused about time zones anyway so, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I, I tried to think about what you said there and I, yeah it confused me so I was like uh, okay sure whatever you say <laughs> we, sh we should get it 11 o'clock tonight and it's 11 30 a.m. on Friday at the moment um, Thursday sorry Right, which would be 12 hours from now for me, which will be 8.30 in the morning. So, yeah. Yeah. Hope that is the case. Matthew's asking, when do I think True Rex will come to the game? I think we can expect True Rex sooner than later, in all honesty. I mean, look at the way they responded on social media to all the people that, you know, were giving them a hard time. Uh, about releasing lodges before True Racks, you know, and their response was simply, you know, would you rather have True Racks and shoot a once in a lifetime animal and not be able to do anything but take a picture? Or would you rather have a lodge first and then be able to, you know, mount that once in a lifetime animal in your lodge? So that pretty much, for me, that said, we're getting True Racks, you know, it's just a matter of when. And I, I have a feeling it will be before the end of the year. Like all of the above just said there, a few months. Yep, I, I would agree with that. See a uh, fellow coming through the trees there? I can't get a spot on it. There's actually two back there. Yeah, I heard him give a warning call, so I gave off a couple rattles here. Yeah, they're coming this way. Let's see if we 
got anything decent in this group here. And last time I was at this lake, yeah, there's a four easy there. That's not a bad one. Um, there was a couple groups of fallows, so we may have more than one group come to us here. But they're going to be smart and stay in the trees. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> come on up. Oh, there's a little bitty guy. Has anyone ever seen a level 1 fallow? I think that's one of the only males I haven't seen a level 1 on. And hey, Silver Moon and Carius and Lucas, and I want to go fast 28. Welcome, everybody. Oh, uh, yeah, about to get trampled. Oh, well, we're taking this little guy because I know there's another one on the map. So we'll take him. Almost oh, got it in the foot. <laughs> they shouldn't spook too far. We got some that didn't even spook still. There's one right there that didn't spook yet. At 40 meters out. Let's try that one with the recurve. Should be somewhere in there. Oh, nope. Shot over. No, get back here. Oh. <laughs> That would be pure luck if I hit one of those running shots. <laughs> nope. Well, we spooked them around, but we can just move them around this lake and then call them back to us. Look at that. Yep. It's like a dog bone. Like a dog's chew toy sitting on top of his head that does not look like a <laughs> rack. <laughs> but I'll take the cash. And that's, see, that's the other thing. I'm, uh, we finally have something to do with all our money, Non. You know, that the money in this game once you get to level 60 and get everything unlocked the money was pointless you know i'm up to oh or something else i see that level close. four to your left on the edge of the i uh, sorry to your right on the edge of the lake oh he just spooked is he running this way uh no he's kind of going away from us past that broken tree stump i think we have a stuck animal here ah uh, yep She's indeed stuck. Let's see. I'm pretty sure the recurve doesn't give integrity on these guys because it's the same class as the 270. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Look, the tree's holding it up. <laughs> There's your trophy oh. shot. <laughs> right? Look at that. Oh, that's impalement. Ouch. Oh, that's going ow. right through the neck there. How'd you? How did that happen? Through the neck, I've got that going through the leg. Really? Yeah, from my screen, look, it's going yep. right through the base of the neck there where it connects to the chest. Ouch. Well, I'm glad I put it out of its, out of its misery there. Couldn't even say that. And, yep, no integrity. That That's one thing about the recurve. I wish we had either make the arrows in, you know integral for all species or give us different arrows so that the recurve is more... Uh, more of an option for other game as well. Oh, there's a four right there. Oh, that's another one then, because you had one over to the right as well. Oh, nice. Maybe we'll leave that one over there on the right for uh, manana. Oh, wait, is there two level fours over here? There is. There's two level fours over here. Oh, wow. And a level three. Let me get in this bush right here and then see if we can call them in. They're acting a lot more alert than they should be at that distance, I believe. And Curious says quite the ornament there. Yeah, that was pretty interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> I wonder if he's going to walk around that water or just get hung up on the edge there, because that's a bank. And hey, Chico, how's it going? So far, so good on the hunt, though. We haven't seen any... We've seen some really nice animals, but no uh, no rares. That's the main thing I don't want to see today is rares. <laughs> <laughs> Save the rares for tomorrow, EW. Now that you've said that, you know what's going to come, don't you? Oh, yeah. I'm sure a piebald <laughs> fallow deer is going to pop up out of nowhere here in a second. <laughs> yeah. Level 5 max weight. <laughs> yeah, they're acting like they're getting stuck on that water right there. They're not wanting to come in. 
The females seem like they're making their way around, though. Yeah, they're coming around that rock in a minute. So maybe the males just need a little more time. Oh, we got one right in front of us here. Yep, we may have to drop her, though. Nice. He acted like he heard it, but he didn't spook. He just hesitated. And Dave says some kind of auto pistol in this game would be cool. Uh, like a semi-automatic 10 mil like they have in a uh, classic. That would be pretty cool. Come on, guy. Oh, that's the three. There's one of the fours. And there's the other four over there. Okay. Yeah, the fours aren't wanting to come here. We may have to shoot one of the fours with something else. <laughs> there's a female to your left there. <laughs> ah. 20 meters. I'll try a recurve shot that uh, not going to promise anything. Take her out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Mine completely missed. You oh. always got that split second before they spook. And yeah, we're just going to take yeah. this level four here with the Mosin. We'll take the one on. We'll take that one. 50, 75, 25, 50, 0, 25. He's down. Nice. nice. Well, let's go pick up all these fallow. And we got... Uh, G-Man's here as well. Hey, G-Man, how's it going? We got that one in the heart. Where did we hit this oh, one? Oh, nice. This one, we got a single lung. But because it's the recurve, it just dropped it on the spot. All, all the above, I was using the crap out of the recurve earlier today. Uh, I even went to the range and was practicing 100 meter shots with it. <laughs> I can hit something at 100 meters. I can't uh, tell you where I'm going to hit it at 100 meters. <laughs> the arrow moves so much at that distance. And I'm doing good, G-Man. Doing good. Glad you can make it to a stream, my friend. Pick up this guy and another gold in 855. Not bad. I really do like the fallow deer. They look so cool with the Paul Knight slash antler type racks they have. It's like a miniature moose. <laughs> okay, I'm like a stick. To Definitely use to it the... as a paddle, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Stranded, stranded in the wilderness, you know, up a creek with no paddle. That would work. Mm hmm. Find you a fallow shed. <laughs> <laughs> 79 to 96. That's probably that level 3 we saw. Yeah. We'll keep moving around the lake here. Cause I had a couple more spots. Yep, yeah, see, look, there's. That must have been that level 4 you saw earlier yeah yep oh there's another level four. four oh there's, what what is with all these level four fallow Hang on. you've got you've got two more to the right of that oh what is that one behind that one that's another that's level a four, four. And then i think there's one in the reeds there's another one behind that. holy Female. fallow this is crazy <laughs> all the time i've spent trying to hunt fallow in this game which you know well is not a lot compared to the other maps but i've never seen this many level four fallow that is nuts. This is where the old hide. I'll be checking this spot. <laughs> right? Anyone wondering where we're at? There you go. We're at the bigger lake in Peter Shane. By the turbines. It's a pretty good spot. Uh, we got pretty good hunting pressure south of that, but none right there where they're at. I still don't know. Mm -hmm. He's moving. I wonder if he's going to move all the way around the lake, try to come back to these other need zones. Because I don't want to have to run all the way around this lake to go pick him up and then go back north. You know what I mean? Double crossing our yeah, pass. Yeah. I think you might have another four there behind that female, you know, on the shoreline. <laughs> I just can't get a spot on it, though. <laughs> 
you're probably right. As many as we're seeing right now, I wouldn't be surprised. Holy cow. Well, this is a fallow hot spot. Keep this in mind. <laughs> yeah. And Lucas says, I could count all my gold fallows on one hand. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Well, you never know. You know, EW seems they do... Uh, Oh, they're right here. Oh, what did I just say earlier? Was that it? That was a piebald. Not really? Yeah, it's a female, but still, there's a piebald. <laughs> see, this is why I didn't want to hunt tonight. I didn't want to see that stuff. <laughs> but I'm not going to shoot that one. We're going to leave that one alone. But apparently, there was a whole other group of fallow right here. Mm. We have spooked them. And Shane Wireman's here. He says, I got here late. YouTube's not sending the notification to me. Yep, new, new tube. YouTube has been on the <laughs> fritz lately with the uh, notifications. Um, I missed several stuff lately because of it. Several vids. <sighs> but yeah, the, apparently the fallow are everywhere today. And we're going to shoot that one with the recurve. Because, why not? Down a little more. Takes his heart shot. Oh. Oh, come on now. Oh, we may have a bugged animal. I was going to say, it didn't look like it was doing much. Because, yeah, this... Because it's overpowered for these animals. Should have dropped that thing, no problem. But we may have a bugged animal. Where'd that arrow hit? Sorry, not trying to get too personal here. Lady, just want to see. Oh, we hit her back left leg. Where are you looking? I've got one here. Oh. It's, no, it's over here. <laughs> oh, that oh one it just died. died. Another one. Yeah, you got another one dead. Uh, another one just standing here. Hey, I was able to pick it up too. I don't. I don't see one there. You just shot the dirt. <laughs> oh no, it just uh, took off running. running. <laughs> I didn't see that one until it took off running. Holy cow! <laughs> you got stealth fellow now. Visibility did you, cloak. Did you hit it? Because I don't see blood. Well, yeah, it, look, it should have been a direct lung shot at uh, point blank range, but yeah, there's no blood. So weird. So so, server lag. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know there's more fallow to the left there. But let's keep uh, moving north. Don't want to disturb this spot too much with hunting pressure. There's actually no hunting pressure in that spot where you shot that one. You're right. That is odd. Mm. That is very odd. Huh. Like they were never there. Yeah, we've got some weird stuff going on with the multiplayer, but, you know, it happens. And Aaron, a what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. And, yeah, I'll, I will take that. I'm going to have to keep note of that little area there. Uh, just a female road deer. Because I think that's maybe literally the second or third time I've visited that lake. And now that we got so many need zones over it, definitely going to have to go back. Oh, yeah. I say I'll be checking my map for sure. <laughs> Well, yeah, and that's just the thing. We found that out the other day, or the other week, when we did the, uh, me and you did the Blacktail stream, and we got that diamond. Three or four people in the Discord messaged me and said, hey, went to that exact same spot at the same time you were on stream, and got a diamond Blacktail. So, yep. Yep. apparently, uh, that's, cool. that's something to look out for. If you see somebody, you know, has found a hot spot, go check it out on your map, because it very well could be a hot spot there, too. Expecting to see something in the cornfields, but I don't see a thing. I hear geese. Oh yeah, they're right above us. See, this is the thing. I I haven't done it yet on uh, Xbox because people have told me on Xbox that the geese work properly, but here on PC, I I only see them in the air. I never see them land. They'll fly right over my decoy setups while I'm letting my collar out, and they just don't respond to it. So I don't know if they're still broken or if they're even 
if the devs are even worried about the geese anymore. I don't know. But I sure would like to see them be more like uh, classics uh, geese. You know, or even the duck hunting more like classic. You know, it's it's a lot more fun to me in classic than it is in Call of the Wild just because of the mechanics, the way it works. Yep. Yeah. And Karis, see, she has no geese, no sounds, or need zones on her map. I don't have any need zones, but I have, uh, I definitely have geese. We just saw that flock, and I have the sound almost, I'd say, once every 30 minutes, it seems. And, uh, Officer Taylor's here, and also Mori TG Gaming. Hey, Mori, good to see you, man. And Officer Taylor, good to see you as well. Lucas is asking when we can do another Xbox subscriber hunt. Uh, we will definitely have another one of those in the future, but we did have some issues with it. Um, so it's something we're going to have to plan a little better. We're going to have to plan it out, you know, make sure that everyone that wants to join the stream can actually join me on Xbox. Um, yeah, because we've just had too many issues with it last time, people not being able to join and trying to fill spots last minute. I don't uh, particularly want just random people jumping into the streams and potentially destroying the maps. So, But we will do another Xbox subscriber hunt for sure. What we need to do is we need to do a PC subscriber hunt. We have not done that yet. So we'll probably do a PC subscriber hunt before we do another Xbox subscriber hunt. And yeah, I'm not seeing anything in these fields, no? I'm going to run up no, to the next one. Pretty, uh, pretty empty. And hey, Sam Galt is here. Good to see you, Sam. So, Non, what is your, your dream animal to have in the lodge? One animal. What is it? Rabbit. Really? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> of all the things, you pick a rabbit. <laughs> a room full of rabbits. Right. Uh, um... <laughs> I actually love an albino lion. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be, and if possible, I don't know if they exist, but a melanistic lion as well. And then I'd have them at the front stairs. I was just gonna the, say, uh, if you could get lobby. a melanistic and an albino and put them in that front, oh, that would be awesome. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. ghost in the darkness. That's what I'd call them. That would be awesome. Yeah, my if I had to pick one animal that I want in the lodge, I want it doesn't have to even be a diamond. I just want it to be a at least level four. Um, I want a crowned wildebeest. The crowned wildebeest looks so good. I want one of those in my lodge. Yeah. Zaggy says if only someone had two albinos. Yes, I wonder. I wonder <laughs> who. <laughs> in the in their lodge though, I didn't see him. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The lodge but he's probably got two roaming around in his mouth. Yeah, he might now. He, he very well may have scouted out a couple. <laughs> but we can actually go on other people's maps and take their animals to put in our lodge as well, though, no? It if does from the beta. seem to be that way. If it's the same way as the beta, which I, I hope it is, you know, um, that was the unfortunate thing about the, I don't even want to call it a lodge anymore, but the, the mission lodge we had for uh, Parquet Fernando. You know, it could only be done in single player, not in multiplayer. It doesn't seem any of those restrictions apply to, excuse me, to the new lodge, which I'm super stoked about. You know, like right now, if I understand it correctly, what me and Non are doing, you know, hunting like this, we could both be putting these, you know, whichever animal we harvest in the lodge. Now, what I'm curious yep. about is, will it let me, if I harvest an animal you shoot and I taxidermy, taxidermy it, is it going to have no horns like it does in the harvest picture? Mm. Good one. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I kind of hope so. That way people can't, you know, well, hey, my buddy shot this one for me, so I put it in my lodge. You know, uh, uh, that way yeah, people's lodges yeah, are really their lodges. Yep. Yeah, so, they, well, that would then stop people also picking up other people's animals, won't it? So. Yep, it would. <laughs> All the bubs giving Zaggy a hard time. He says, shoost an albino lion off his own mat before lodges. Tisk tisk. <laughs> <laughs> So 
still hearing those stupid geese. I really wouldn't mind hunting them, but like I said, they just don't, uh, they don't respond on my map. Yeah, last, like I think I've told you, last time I tried, they, uh, they landed at me decoys and then wandered off into the woods, and yeah, I just couldn't get shots on them, so. Nice, and Shane Wireman has a good question. He says, what guns do you recommend for weapons on Parquet Fernando? Um, definitely the Mosin. The Mosin is perfect for all the maps. Um... Probably the Mosin and the 7mm, really, and that's all you really need. Um, you can take the 338 if you wanted, but between the Mosin and the 7mm, you can take pretty well, and a 22 or a shotgun if you want to worry about the teals. I'm only finding tracks every now and then. None, none of them are going the direction I want to track. They're all going back into the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Pigs. Foxes. Running in the opposite directions of his tracks because that's more the way we want to go and you never know, we may find a need zone off of those. I do want to go more to the north. See, that's the bad parts about this map. It's so thick and heavily vegetated. Us running, me, not us, because I'm leading, so I can't throw none under the bus. But <laughs> running around like this, we're more likely to spook stuff that we don't even see. Yeah, true. Oh, I hear geese. Are they in the air? Or are we going to find yeah. them in the woods again? <laughs> I right above us. <laughs> See, if I could shoot them in that formation, I wouldn't mind them. But you can't. Yeah. They're useless in that formation. It's just a tease. Like, hey, they're still in the game, but you can't shoot us. <laughs> <laughs> At least they do kind of fly in and sort of go over the fields now instead of just flying over the woods where there's nowhere to land. There. Right. I mean, they still come in over this way, but yeah, at least they're heading towards open ground. Run. We spooked this fox here. Uh, well. Foxes are slow, though. We might be able to catch up to it, actually. <laughs> oh, nope. There's something else right in front of us, though. Ah, oh. oh, no, don't run. Uh. Wow. Yep, see, that's the thing about Hirsch. It's a lot more wooded. you got to pay a lot closer attention. And, uh, yeah, not very good at paying attention to the game and reading chat at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Lucas says he's got two diamond foxes on his map. That's pretty nice. cool. Yeah, I haven't gotten a diamond fox yet either. That's a grind I don't even want to start. <laughs> I enjoy, I really enjoy hunting the foxes, but I've never seen a uh, legendary on my map. I'm sure there's one somewhere, but I just haven't found them. Well, honestly, I'd rather have these foxes than that, uh, that roe deer. <laughs> but if I yep. see it, I'll shoot it. And Curious says she has diamond foxes, too. Didn't you get one? I believe so. I think Curious got a diamond fox. And Ricardo just donated and says, thank you for the show. Well, thank you for the donation there, Ricardo. Appreciate it, bud. Hey, Ricardo. Just that video. Oh and yeah. Ryan says I think Hirsch is the best starter map with the original starting weapons uh, I mean yes with the 243 but I mean there's a lot of animals you can take on Leighton with the 243 if you make you know make the proper shots go for heart yep. so I I don't know Late, Leighton to me is still if you don't have any DLC or anything Leighton's the best bet for me uh, or my advice for a beginner just Easier to get way more animals in a shorter amount of time, even without collars. Because they're not in thick stuff like this. A lot of open oh. areas on Leighton as well, isn't there? So, some uh, pretty something. good views along the rivers. Don't know if that was your pant leg in the, rubbing up against that tree or something running, but I heard something. Could have been. It was just now. It was probably this fox again. 
Let's get out of this brush. I'll chase this fox down if I have to. <laughs> and congrats, SOS. Got their third diamond on Friday, a 962 whitetail. Very nice. Very um, nice. That's a good question. Do I prefer the Hirsch map on Call of the Wild or Classic? I would say uh, Classic, honestly. Um, the graphics are way better on this uh, engine than they are on the Classic engine. But I have a lot more luck uh, hunting on uh, Classic Hirschfelden than I do on Call of the Wild Hirschfelden. So... Nice. Lucas killed four diamond moose before he unlocked the collar. Very nice. Yeah, you don't have to have the collars to hunt the animals. You just got to be a lot more strategic in your movement around the map and to get in position for them. Hey, Mrs. B, it's here. And Mrs. B, how are you doing? Good to see you here. There's a red deer heading off this way. Don't know how long ago. Ooh, want to go get some bacon? We can shoot bacon with the recurve. Hang on, is this track here. Oh, that is red deer. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Oh, I thought we had a messed up track again. Up <laughs> big fall. Nice. Yeah, the white tails are gorgeous. That's still that white tail I got on that stream with Zaggy is still one of my top three diamonds I've gotten. Not because of the score or anything, just because, well, I mean, it was a big, it was like a 996, but, uh, there's Piggy. Where's my bacon collar? Nope, not that one. They're real close, Non. Wind is right at him, though. Yep. And they just ran. I was hoping I could get to this bush so I could see them and then take a shot before they spooked. Well, the wind is not being our friend here on the Hirschfelden today. I swear it was just going west a minute ago. Now it's going back south. <laughs> just a little too minor pig, though. We may have let him go. Because we have another piggy right there. Two minor female. There's two. There's another one in the field of three. Very easy male. Just to the left of it. Oh, nice. That yeah, one you just lit the there, huh? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Get cover where I want to get cover. Very nice. About 100 meters out. Where's this one doing? Just sitting there. But yeah, rest zone off the female one. Oh, very nice. Is he going to come in, or is he going to travel that same path that other one took? See, it, it, the boar and apparently the warthog, if, you know, from last stream, they just take their sweet time coming in. They're not in a hurry. Look at that. He took about ten steps, and then he stopped again. Oh, I'm tempted to try to take a long-range shot on you, buddy. <laughs> Come in another 10 steps, I might do it. With the recurve? Yeah. Just lost him behind that bit of a rise. I did too. Female. I see her, but I cannot see him. Tried to stand up so I could still get a look, but nope. So they're going to come in all sneaky-like. Probably right through those trees in front of us. <laughs> uh, that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with that, Lucas. Lucas thinks that uh, they should change the Gimsbach scoring. Uh, level 5 males should be diamond more often, in his opinion, and I totally agree with you. I don't think I've seen anybody get a level 5 male diamond. They've all been females. It's right at the top of the hill. I can't spot it. What? What's the distance on that? Uh, 32, 31, 30. That's the three oh, very easy. Soul 0 for 20. 7, 25. 
Me too. Oh, I thought he was going to keep walking. Oh. <laughs> right, right in the eyeball by the looks of that. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was going to keep walking, so I was leading it a bit. <laughs> I shot him right in the eye. 70, still 50, 75. Another one to your right. Female, making a run for it. 50 meters. Deep. Oh, tried to get her. Well, it's an arrow, so it should bring him down. He just might run for a bit. And there's some need zones over here. Are these the ones you picked up from that? I don't know. Maybe. Possibly? Let's see. Could be. Oh, there were seven pigs here, apparently. Holy cow, we only saw two. <laughs> Alright, this could be a different need zone as well. I guess. 50 to 75. That's what I do like about the recurve is it does always seem to bring them down no matter what. Even if you hit them in the foot, they'll die eventually. Oh, very nice. Shane got a level 5 male diamond that scored a 950. Right on the edge. Nicely done. And Ernesto Espita Espita is here as well as Bowman 5997. Welcome, everybody. If you just got here, obviously we're out on Hirschfelden doing a little bit of a bow hunt and uh, now tracking down a wounded animal. <laughs> just got a mail warning call, and it wasn't from him because he's dead. <laughs> I thought it might have been him, but it was not. And yeah, we got him in the flesh. One behind with your left coming past you now. <laughs> oh, I hit her? No way. Did that hit? <laughs> I didn't see it. She made the Too noise like it hit, but there's no blood here or anything or, or tracks from her. She made the little rant <laughs> like I hit her, but... <laughs> I just hip fired with the recurve, but I don't see any blood anywhere. Do we have another bugged animal? Quite possibly. Let's see, can we get up here on this rock? Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, we can. A lot of neat things around here. Yeah, I'm gonna jump up here on this rock, spray some sin eliminator, and see if we can't call him back into this area. There's a lot of tracks in this area. And I need to watch for hunting pressure because if it, well, that one we killed earlier didn't show up either as a dot. Yeah, no. Oh, we got a fox too. Might as well give them all a call. See what all we can get to come in here. Got a pretty good spot here on the rock. So nothing should be able to kill us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Although some of the smaller rocks, like the ones Nons on, the, the pigs will still get you there. What? Oh, yeah. I've had them crawl those little rocks like that and get me. That's why I jumped what on this. What the hell am I down here, then? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I jumped on this big rock. <laughs> How the heck did he get up there? You got to jump up on the front side of it there. Yep. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, wrong caller. <laughs> SOS says that's why they call them more pigs. <laughs> Very clever, Miss B. She's always clever with that stuff. No, well, yeah. See how she did that? I think y'all should just <laughs> hit that like button. Non-action is just not acceptable. Thank you for that, Mrs. B. They should be coming back into us. Let's see if I see that fox anywhere. She was calling from over there. Oh yeah, I didn't reapply after I moved. That may be the issue. Yeah, just in case. The wind is terrible, though. Let me 
usually with the war pigs, it doesn't make that big of a difference as long as you got the sin eliminator. Yeah, they may not have slowed down, though. They might have yep. just kept going. They may have been on a steady trot and got away from us here. I just have a feeling they're right on the outside of where we can see them, like behind those rocks. <laughs> Yep, there's one right there. Oh, yeah. So I said, they come in. They just like to take their sweet time. Now he's behind the rock again. Give him another call. See if it'll speed him up there. they'll come in this close you know realistically we're above them so they shouldn't be able to smell us <laughs> yeah well it's like uh, being in a stand yeah. <laughs> yeah he's just went behind that next rock there so he'll be coming out on that side yep there he is right there come a little bit closer buddy yeah i don't see anything else back there so there's only one He stopped right behind the tree. Oh, nice. <laughs> sat him down. Nice. Oh, there's one behind you. Shoot it. Uh, not ready. <laughs> that gone. It wasn't. Well, at least she went north. If she, since she went north, we can track that one down. Let's see where we got this guy. Um, According to the arrow, we missed him completely. <laughs> the arrow went on the side, but we got uh, left lung, liver, and stomach. Very nice. That's why he dropped instantly like that. And there was something else. Another pig yelling at us from down there. But let's uh, let's go north, and hopefully the wind will behave. Yep. Okay. I kind of want to go after some bison. Do a little dancing with the bison and the bows is always a good time. Yeah, the warthogs are now wusses, man. They don't attack anymore. I'm disappointed. Yeah. It's all buffalo. Buffalo attack, but warthogs don't seem to bother anymore. Yeah, it's, it's weird. I mean, because the, the warthogs used to be the most aggressive thing on Africa. And now, oh, yeah. yeah, they're just... They're little kittens now. Yep. Got a warning call from some more piggies this way. West, northwest. Coming up to the road here. Might actually have a decent view. Another need zone over here. Nice. I'll take all the need zones I can get. <laughs> Officer Taylor says, kittens, one of them just killed me. <laughs> well, at least you get them to be aggressive. Yeah. I can't remember the last time I got attacked by a war pig. It's the same need zone as all those other ones. I think it's a actually a glitched need zone. I think one of these boar dropping need zones every other track. Yeah, but that normally happens when it's old old tracks, though, doesn't it? So, well, that's what I've found. Yeah, but I've been getting them lately. Like I've gotten ones that you know there'll be a poop, then that, and it's a just now. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, very fresh, so they were running through here. Another red deer. Maybe these are really old. I'm not sure. Because some of their, I think they went back and forth here. Two sets of tracks, you know what I mean? Yeah, they were doing some crazy Ivan stuff. 
nice big opening here. Can we see anything though? Nope. So this is just like a travel way. And what's, what I find weird is everywhere you find one of these stands that they've pre-placed in the game, it's, it, it, there's not necessarily a need zones by them, but it seems to be like that's the highways, you know? They're, they're, animals are going to cross by those hunting stands at one point or another because they, mm, yeah. they are very strategically placed. Well, yeah, they'd want to be, or else they're just pointless, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Which I kind of like, because, I mean, it. say you don't get a bunch of need zones there, but you know the animals travel through there, then you don't have to worry about your hunting pressure. Yeah. Because you can just sit there and shoot away, because there's no need zones there anyway. Well, we got roe deer and pigs up here, so not that collar. let out some calls as we move forward here see if something runs into us oh there's something right there in front of me non I hear it oh there yep nice it's a female row I do like the bows Oh, we still That's got a nice row down there, too. Where are you at, guy? Slowly creeping through the forest. <laughs> Just use the caller so it might uh, come barreling out of there in a minute. Yep, here it comes. Oh, yep. Nice. Bit of Robin Hood action. Right. This is how we got to do it here. We just got to call and slowly crawl forward, and as they jump out in front of us, shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's another one right there, if you want to take that one. It's a Famali. We're looking. Ah, oh, yeah. I could try. Just the little guy. That one was. What's the range on that? Uh, I'd say probably thirty. Coming in closer though, so twenty. About the spook. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Did I actually hit it? Yeah, wow, you okay. hit it, and I put I another it. arrow in it. <laughs> but it's still. Oh, there it goes. I thought that was a total miss. <laughs> Now it reacted when you hit it. I think there's something else here as well. I only see one blood spot though. That's weird. There's something else here too. I heard it run off. Because look at that. It was just I, all I saw for the blood or where the shots were was a flesh wound, and that shows medium blood rate. Yep. Well, that's the bow, though, isn't it? The arrows do a lot more damage. Yeah, but I, I still thought you didn't get a... Oh, I hear it. It's right here. That group right in front of us where the dead one is. There's something else there. Okay. Oh, there's a... Yeah, one running on the spot. On a treadmill. Oh, okay. Well, then we don't have to be sneaky to that one. Oh, he's protecting this down one here. Let me just grab this real quick. Thank you. Oh, no, you did miss it. What? Uh, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> I hit it, though, when it was yelling from you hitting it, though. Because why would it be yelling like that if nobody else had shot it? It's... <laughs> I could try and hit that one. Go for it. Oh, it got free. Oh, it'd be cool. <laughs> right? I wanted to see what level he was, at least. Looked like a nice two, at least. Yeah. Let's 
See if we can get him to come back over the top of that road. He was a decent looking road deer. Yeah. <laughs> People are talking about what they get there. Uh, SOS gets the silliness from his dad. Officer Taylor gets <laughs> his temper from his mother. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't have the tracks for that guy that just ran across the road. Those are pig tracks. Unless this is it here. Looks like more pig tracks. Oh, there's a pig right there, though. Wow. Oh, definitely a hit. Definitely not a very good one, though. I didn't see the health start to drop. But it is an arrow, so it'll take it down. We got anything along this roadway up in front of us? Nope. Mm, no. Nah. The roadways are anything. usually good areas to catch animals crossing, get a good shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Especially yeah, the buffalo seem to like following the road, don't they? Ah, uh, not buffalo, bison. Sorry. Yeah, the bison the really seem there. to like the road. You're right. Yeah, I got a blood spot here from that uh, non-vital. Oh, hang on. There's that row going down the road towards the building. Oh, very nice. Well, and there's zero a... twenty-five piggy up on the the road as well, which should probably just about fall over in a minute. <laughs> look, Limping. look. That oh, that's what I wanted to show <laughs> you. I had that happen earlier today with a bear. I hit it in the leg, and it just sat there and limped and hobbled for a while. That's pretty <laughs> cool, in my opinion. <laughs> Well, Nan, you've got guns. Drop that. Lay that guy over there if you can still. Oh, I can't can spot you him out. highlight? There we go. Oh, there it is. Yep. He's 150 out for me. Oh. Did you hit the oh, tree? Oh, did I hit that? I don't think so. I don't know. I thought I hit it. I swear. I... Oh, look, there's another level two. We'll take that one. <laughs> so, yeah, you definitely hit that one. But it's not still dying. 75 100 though. Well, we both shot at that time. <laughs> <laughs> Stubborn road deer, make sure they don't go anywhere. <laughs> I almost went, I, I wish I would have been recording that footage of that bear. Like, I, I shot it in the foot, it took off running, and then it turned around and came back, much like that uh, pig did. But I sat there and watched it for like 30 seconds just hobbling on that keeping that one leg from ever touching the ground and i don't i don't remember i'm always doing that maybe i never paid close enough attention i'm not sure but if that's a new animation that's pretty cool mm, yep for sure well that guy definitely had a bad day now oh yeah i'll pick him up yep and we hit him three times and you got the kill shot with whatever you use. <laughs> I use the Mosin. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, you did hit this one here. I, I thought you'd hit I it. Yeah, I, I, maybe I hit it a bit far back in the uh, hind quarters, I think. I think I missed the lungs. What did you shoot it with? Two, two, three. Ah. Yeah, I've yeah, taken they row can, out with this they thing can before. But... take a bit of it abuse from the 223 but yeah you can definitely take out road deer with it i've taken fallow deer with it yeah oh and zaggy's off to bed by the looks of it good night zaggy thanks for hanging out man i know it's super early in the morning for you right now so have a good one and i'll uh catch you tomorrow Seventy five hundred still. Mm, must have been a bad shot. Well, if he quits bleeding. Oh, where does track go? I don't know, I've got one back going over this way. If you go that way. But that'll be going with the wind now, so Yeah, it's going this way. 
Ugh. Well, you want to oh, follow 50, him? 50, 75, oh, finally. Go. Now he's starting to go down some. <laughs> I'm just going to check this opening since we're right here by it real quick. See if anything's out there. Yeah, that's right, Dave. Zaggy probably will have the lodge first because he'll probably be the first one up. <laughs> and being that he's, you know, in a European country and it's being released European time, it'll work out perfect for him. Stop bleeding. Did it? Yep. Uh, what is that? That's a road de red deer, I mean. Come back. spamming it because he was moving away so quickly like that. I don't even know if he was in range to hear it. I think he was, though, because he was just at those trees. Let's see if we can get him to come back. Oh, there he is right there. Need to lay this grass down, though. There we go. Let's see if we can get him to come into to bow range here. Here's something else, too. Oh, it's a female roe deer behind me. <laughs> <laughs> We're not worried about that, though. We want this guy right here. Come on. Is that there? Oh, he's still moving. There's a piggy next to you somewhere to your right. He's at 50 oh, there. Just ran away from me. See if we can, what the recurve does to this guy. If we can hit him. Oh, we hit him. I think we hit him in the butt though. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like that arrow pushed a little far back behind him. Let's go see what the blood says. Um, no rib cooker. I don't know what that is. Don't know what you're talking about there, buddy. <laughs> Cord says, nice shot still. Yeah, I mean, at least we hit it. <laughs> it is the recurve. The recurve does tend to bring everything it hits down, though. Usually, I say that, but we shall see. I'll have to watch for hunting pressure to pop up right here. Oh, it's coming back. Well, since it's coming back. Uh, 25.50 still. Well, I think I only <laughs> hit it with one of those, but we hit it again. <laughs> yeah, it was still 25.50 as it went over the hill there. Weird, it came running back like that, though. And congrats, Shane. Shane finally made it to level 60. Yeah, those last oh, 10 nice. levels take forever, it seems. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. And Evan just dropped in as well. How's it going, Evan? Hey, Evan. And Quartz is asking, how's T-Ball been going for the little man? My oldest daughter starts in another couple weeks. Ah, uh, he's doing great. He loves it. Um... His uncle and I are the coaches, so that makes it easier on him. Well, maybe not, because we're probably harder on him than a regular coach would be, considering it's just T-ball. But uh, he's doing good. All the kids. Uh, we only have one kid on the team that's played T-ball before, so we have a bunch of bunch of newbies. But they're all uh, they're picking up pretty quick. They're picking it up and improving every week. Um, we just had our what was it fifth game. Um, the other day, and so their record's now 4-1. and one. They've only lost one game so far. So it's been going pretty good. And it's, uh, yeah, it's hilarious to watch. It really is. Because uh, some of the kids, they'll, you know, you've got coaches out in the outfield for the other teams and stuff when they're on defense. 
And sometimes our kids will run up to the other coaches instead of, you know, running the bases, they'll see another coach out there. So they just run up to that coach. Where do I go now? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> no, that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> And Officer Taylor, where are you from? How do you not know what T-ball is? I would understand if you're from Australia or Europe, but I, I thought baseball was kind of big worldwide. Maybe not, though. But T-ball is literally, it's baseball for young, young kids. I think four to five-year-olds or four to six, something like that. And it's basically you just set the baseball on top of a T, which uh, holds it. And yeah, you just, the kids get to crush it off the tee, work on their hand eye coordination before they go to coach pitch. And we hit that one twice. First time was with the recurve, second time was also a flesh shot, though. <laughs> Not a bad looking guy. And yeah, we shot way behind it. <laughs> and what was that that just yelled at us? Ah, uh, just a right here. At least I think it was a road here. I think that's what popped up. There you go, Dave. I've got a little over, what is that? A little over a million. 1,135,000. So we, get, we, we got a little bit of ammo, too. I bought uh, a little over a thousand rounds there for the Mosin. I'm thinking about doing that with all the weapons, actually. Because uh, they were talking about, you know, adjusting the price of the ammo and everything. So it may not be a bad idea, uh, even though I've got plenty of money. You know, it may not be a bad idea to stock up anyway. You mean they're going to make it more expensive or cheaper? More expensive. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know if that's going to happen. I just heard talk that they were going to end up doing away with consecutive harvests and raising the price of ammo. So that maybe you don't just waste your shots as much. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know their... <laughs> Their idea behind it all. Well, let's uh, let's go for a run on a little bit of the running simulator. Yep. Let's get up to these next section of fields up here. But yeah, I think the most cash I ever had was just a little bit over 1.5 million before I just go buy thousands of rounds or find something else to just splurge it on. <laughs> by a couple hundred cent eliminators something but now that we're getting the lodges we can waste all our money on mounting animals yeah true I mean they're not going to be that expensive because you still get the money for picking the animal up anyway so well that's right so it really won't be that bad about four or five hundred or something for a large animal I think where are you at Mr. Fox Hard to spot these guys in this kind of full. I can't even say the word right now. The word that starts with an F that means thick brush and leaves. Foliage. <laughs> yes, that one. <laughs> <laughs> there was a fox over here somewhere. I think these are his prints. And if we spooked him, hopefully he ran to the field. To the north. Here we go. Made it to the straw fields. And we got a rest zone. Maybe this was our fox right here in the rest zone. That'll be nice. Yeah, Michael Johnston's here. Good day. Oh, yep. There's our foxes right there. And Matt Collins is as well. Welcome, guys. Got a male and a female one just yep. wandering along there. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's when I did the fox video a long time ago. I noticed that when I went hunting for only fox, if you see a male or vice versa, you know, you see a female, there's a male somewhere in that area. It, they seem to run in pairs, which I don't know if that was intended. Oh, letting out another warning call. I don't know why.
But uh, yeah, they tend to travel in pairs. It's pretty interesting. I'm hoping I could crawl right here and then just wait for them to come back in, but they may not want to. Yeah, because one that was a warning call, wasn't it? So. Yep, they may have. Uh... Be a little bit on edge. Last time I saw them was right. They were right there by that tree. Oh no, they're still there. Right there. They're coming in slowly. There's the female. So the male's around somewhere. He just is being a little more reluctant. We need to change our arrows if we're going to shoot this thing with the bow. There's some elk red Males there. Males at the back there. Nice. He's 65 out. Like him to get to at least about where she's at. Try to get a fox with the bow today. Small little targets. I'm afraid she's going to come in too close and spook before he gets mm -hmm. close enough. Yeah, I was just thinking that. As long as um, she doesn't spook him. I'm going to try to take a 60 meter shot on this guy. As soon as he stops right there. If he stops. Wow, the dot on the side is as big as he is. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be able to miss him. <laughs> uh, hold still, guy. Oh, we hit him. <laughs> Don't know what it did to him, but we hit him. Did he go down right Wow, how there? bulletproof is that thing? <laughs> did he disappear? They both went behind that little ridge there, and I didn't see either one come up. Uh, probably a little dip there, so they're probably down in there, oh. hanging out. There's another fox over there. There's another red deer over there. That's a five medium male on that. Yep. That is. 185 meters? Yeah. A long wanna... bow shot? Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, I mean, I'll, sh I'll lob one out there, but I probably won't hit it. <laughs> Let's <laughs> see. Zero for 60. He's right there. Let's just aim about there. No idea where that even hit. <laughs> oh, I've got your need zone for him. Oh, nice. Oh, look. Want me to take a shot on him? Yeah, go ahead. Drop him. Nicely done. Dropped him right in this tracks. Nice shooting. There you go. And here's where we hit that. Uh, or no, we hit him back there. He didn't run too far. That might be 100% quick kill. Not too shabby. Let's see. Yep, we got him in flesh, right scalpula, and right lung at 52 meters. So I'll take it. Nice. It's a decent bow shot on a fox right there. I think I made a mess out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turned it Three into shots. Swiss cheese, <laughs> eh? <laughs> Best shot hit it in the head. <laughs> but didn't get a brain shot. Now that I mean, their brains are so small. If you hit that thing in the skull, just the concussion would scramble its brain. You would think. Yeah. And your other fox was over this way, and I did see a red deer out there. Yep, there it is, right there. Let's see how close we can sneak to him. Where's your... Wasn't that fox you shot just out here somewhere? Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I see oh, yeah. it now. Pick him up and then we'll get that one. So, crouch walk yeah. over here. See if we can get that red deer there. Shoot the elk impersonator. <laughs> yeah. And you got that one in the heart. Nicely done. Oh, nice. Left lung and heart. 
Um, Deer King 48 is here and wants to know what is everybody's biggest red deer. His is a level three male. Your biggest red deer? Uh, mine would be, I think, what did it, I don't remember what it scored. I got a diamond red deer. I think it was like 970 something. Oh, nice. That was actually, uh, off of Beard's map. That was the very first diamond I got off of his map. And my first diamond ever, I do believe. Very cool. I haven't got a diamond one, but I think mine's an eight mythical. About my largest. And Freya Johnson is here. Welcome. Just trying to sneak up here, see if we can get into this cover right here. There's a red deer just on the other side of there. And maybe we can drop him. Being very, very sneaky. Right there. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Beard is here saying that Sean John stole <laughs> diamonds. <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe not. And it was funny, actually, because Beard had literally just stepped away from his computer. He had his map up, and we were all hunting on it. And, like, literally, he steps away, and this level 9 steps out in front of me. And I just I, I had to drop it right away. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, guy. I kind of want him to get close enough. I want to get him, see if I can get a decent shot with the recurve on him. 40 is good if he'll stop there. Even closer is better, though. So let's zero for 20 on this. And when he stops, we'll step up. Stand up. Oh, we're standing up now. We hit him. Don't think it was a good shot, though. I rushed it. Oh. Zeroing's the thing. Yeah, I didn't see the shot. I was behind the ridge. <laughs> yeah, I think... Yep, that's just a flush wound. Not doing too well with the recurve today. I mean, we're hitting animals, but we're not getting the shot placement that I would like. That's why I broke mine last time on Africa. <laughs> Stupid thing. <laughs> yeah, I should just be. You know, I do wish it was more like the recurve in classic. You at least have a yeah. sight, pretty much, with the recurve in classic because you can aim with the broadhead. And while you do still use the broadhead to aim here in Call of the Wild, that's you're not putting the broadhead on it. You line up the left side of that broadhead with like the sixth ring up of the light colored rope on the handle there, and that'll put you pretty much dead on. But not having an actual sight, you know, having to sit there and, all right, I think that's right about it. You know, it, it, it's a lot of mm, guesswork yeah. involved. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. And Matt is here as well, man. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Good to see you. Up late, I see. Very late for you. Well, glad you could make it. What are these other animals here? Fallow deer. Well, we know from the last one that he'll make it a long way. He may not even die, because last time we shot him with the Mosin as well, before he went down. No, that's true, yeah. If it's a flesh wound, it might... Yeah. But it could take a very long time, eh? Yep. It is 50 to 75 right here, though. Brr. It makes me mad every time I see a flock of them, because I can't get them to land. <laughs> <laughs> And that's a diamond I never got either. And they look super cool in the lodge, so I definitely want to get some to put in the lodge. Just let us shoot them like this. <laughs> Let's see, do we even have a hunting pressure spot? We... I don't think he's dead. We'll just run after it until he quits bleeding. And you know, we may... We may try it. I don't know. I, I gave it a try earlier and couldn't get it to work, but I really want, would like to shoot a few geese. Uh, 0.25. Oh, nice. So it might go to, it might actually die. Hmm. 
Very nice. Freya hadn't shot a diamond till three day three days ago. And now she shot three, one each day. Very nice. Oh, very cool. I'm telling you, man, you just gotta break the ice. It's 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 weird. It took me I was level sixty well into le past level sixty before I got my first one and you know, now we're up over forty. And yeah, see we got that one in the leg. How did I shoot that low from that close? I don't know. <laughs> It's weird. I'm honestly better at further shots than closer shots with the recurve. I don't understand it. <laughs> Makes zero sense. Did you get eyes on those things yelling at us? Nah, I didn't see anything. Saw a pig warning, I thought, but I don't see the pigs. Yeah, 5 a.m. for mass. Wow. Wow. Been oh, playing wow. Ark with this Zathia and Incentive. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I got to catch a little bit of Incentive's uh, stream on Ark there on Twitch. Ark's a cool game, and I never... Once I got a PC that could actually run it, I never even downloaded it. <laughs> I, that just, I just know how that game is, and I don't have the time to put into it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a different Red Deer going that way. Well, no, we don't have too much longer left. Let's since let, let's just try it. Let's see if it works. Let's go to one of my goose setups here. You can go to the same one as me or a different one, whatever you want. Let, let's see if we can try to call some in. See if they yeah, even okay. see if we can get them to work anyway. And Toon Casper TV says just started playing four day, days ago and got my first diamond with the thirty thirty. It was a moose with a hundred yard brain shot. Wow, that's impressive. That is quite a shot for the 3030, because the 3030 is probably my least favorite gun in game. <laughs> Let's see, I don't think we have a weapon for the geese, so let's just grab the 22 real quick. 22 ammo. And I scrolled past it, did not yet. That one. And what about colors? We need the goose collar. There we go. Alright. See, I've got geese setups all over the map, but I just, I don't know what it is. It's been, I couldn't tell you the last time they worked properly. You know, when they first came out, I could literally, here, when I get in this position, I'll show you on the map. Where all my geese setups are, when they first came out, I was able to literally just jump tent from here to here to here. And I had one more. I made, oh, and to here. And just fast travel until I heard geese and then they'd come in right away. Now it seems they, uh, I don't know. Seems they have no interest in the collars or the decoys. And I only see them in areas where I don't have decoys. <laughs> oh, they're going to come in for stream. Nicely done, ducks <laughs> or geese. Make a liar out of me. <laughs> ah, they're low enough we can spot them at least. Makes sense though. You know, you say one thing, then they the geese prove you wrong. Oh, we don't even have our gun equipped yet. This is not good. Ammo. Rush, rush. Yeah, I think I might have geese coming in here as well. Oh, wow, I've got three bullets. <laughs> Don't even have the ammo for the 22. I have a lot of geese coming in here. Holy cow. Not seeing any too big, though. We only got three shots anyway, so we'll try to see if we can't take three. Let's see what these are coming in real quick. Nothing big. Not even a level three. Wow. All right. Well, let's take some of these guys out. Oh, we missed that one. And we're out of ammo.
Never know. <laughs> I'm trying to hit these ones flying away with a recurve, no? <laughs> <laughs> Impossible task, but you never know. Well, wow, we got two down, and they're actually headed your way, Non. They're flying towards you. Okay, yeah, I've just got about eight coming in here now. Very nice. Yeah, I need to buy some more ammo. I have uh, zero twenty-two ammo. That is not good. Well, we got that one in the lower neck. Well, at least I know they're somewhat working, so I'll take that. I've got some coming in over there, so let's fast travel to him real quick and watch him take him out. I hear the shooting already. Oh, well, I actually managed to hit one. I saw wow. that. You hit it. Nice. <laughs> A little out of practice on these guys, I tell you. Come on. One in a million shot. Can we get it? Nope. <laughs> let's buy some ammo. Apparently, I hit it in the middle neck. Very nice. That's, I think that's where I hit mine, too. Spam by this real quick. There we go. Do I have to put it back in my... Nope, it's there. Nice. Yeah, I saw that one you hit drop. Did you pick it yeah, up? Yeah, I used six. Yep. Oh, nice. oh, yeah, sorry. I did. Yeah, it was only a one uh, trivial. But uh, six shots and only one kill. So, yeah, well out of practice. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a long time since we've done any goose hunting. Is that two flying in overhead right there? Oh, way up in the sky. Yeah, that could be, I can actually. spot them, so... If you can spot them, you can shoot them, right? Isn't that the way it works? Uh... Don't know, to be honest. They're pretty high, though. I didn't get any shots. <laughs> any good ones, anyway. Oh, look, there's more geese out there, though. Maybe we can call them in. Oh, whoops, I'll probably just scare them. <laughs> oh, they're pretty far out there. If, the, if this flock comes in, wow. I'll be impressed, and non, I'm going to force you to come out. And help me go goose hunting. Because <laughs> I used to really enjoy hunting the geese until they just... Oh, well, no. See, I can spot those, and those are still in formation. That's weird. Uh, I think I have a problem. What? Oh, did you oh, fall between them? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. Here they come. Come on, break. They did turn, so I think they are coming in now. I believe so. Yeah, I used to use the, yeah. the 12 gauge and the 20 gauges for them too. I just, I don't know. I, I like shooting with 22. It's fun. Any decent ones in it? Nope, all one trivials. Wow. Are you going to land, guys? Come on. Yeah, there they go. Yeah, they they can, they're coming. The others will probably do another another all turning. Good. Let's see if we can get more than one or two this time. Wait till they land and then we'll just start shooting at them. Yeah, the two four uh, the two four three. I thought you could use the two two three on them. I didn't know you could use the two four three. I don't think you get integrity with the two four three though, do you? I'm not sure on that one. I know I've got buckshot on, and it works fine. Nice. Come on. There you go. Wait for these three to touch down here. Yep. They're going to be quite nice and close, which is oh, good. Yeah, if, you wanna, if you're using a shotgun, you can take that group there with the three. Uh, yeah, I've only got buckshot, though. Oh. I can try. I'll probably get two of them. All right, well, here we go. Oh, they're flying away. I got one. 
Wow, I've gotten terrible at shooting them on the... There we go. There's another one. Ran out of breath. Well, we got two. <laughs> I think I got... I think I got three. I don't know. At least I thought I did. I think one landed behind us somewhere. We'll see how quickly those two groups came in. If it would be consistent like this, it would be a blast. Mm, yep. I think I need to get the... There's another one up there in the high heavens. Flying overhead, just oh. one on its own there. Oh, yep, I see it. Let's see if we can get another flock in here real quick. But yeah, if they would, even if it was, you know, every three or four minutes you get a flock, you know, even five minutes, that would be fine. I just don't want to have to sit here for 30 minutes real life between flocks. Mm, yeah, yep. Now see what I used to do, and I'll try it now. Let's see which way they flew off that way. Which is, okay, I don't have one that way, but I'm going to go over here and check real quick. Because it used to be, once they were at one, you could kind of jump around chasing them. Yep. Let me land here, see if I hear anything. This decoy is way out there, though. If you uh, killed one of the geese, isn't that going to throw off your uh, consex now, though? Uh, probably. Traveling? Probably. I'm not too worried about it. The only issues I've had, and I'll test it, actually. If you want to leave one of the ones I shot, leave it there. And uh, when I fast travel uh, back, yeah. I'll try to uh, pick it up. And that's been crashing my game for me lately. So I want to see if that's still a thing. Okay, yep. Let's give just a couple minutes here, see if we can get some geese to come in here. I do have a layout blind in this location. I usually don't use them, though. I usually just lay out somewhere with cover. Seems to work somewhat better, in my opinion. I'm not hearing any over here, though. No, nah, nothing over here either. Give it a couple seconds, though. See, you hear see, a chainsaw, there's, though. There's just something <laughs> about this blind that bugs me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, look, there's animals all over there. Fallows. We're not here for you, we're here for geese. But if a goose doesn't show up, I'll shoot him. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think I'll just shoot him anyway. Oh, wrong gun. That's a 22, we don't want to do that. Oh, and we don't even have the Mosin equipped. Or... Oh, no. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Get out. There we go. There's another little bitty fallow deer, level two. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a, come close enough to drop them, and if no geese come in, we'll we'll just drop these fallow deer. I kind of, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to shoot one with the 22, see if I can get any kind of quick kill on it. Still. Because if you shoot with the scope off, you can rapid fire into these things. <laughs> There's no recoil at all without the scope on there. And hey, Aaron Fulkerson, how's it going? Come on. One of these females should come pretty close to us. Give us enough time to get enough shots into it anyway. And Minecraft Child is here as well. And thanks for hanging out, Dave. Maybe we'll take out this small boy. Oh, 
I was not expecting him to jump like that. 50 to 75. <laughs> nice. Oh, and now I hear geese. Oh, great. Yeah, they were just, they're right over the video. top of me. They're probably going to not even land because of yeah, me shooting just then. But let's see. Oh, and we have hunting pressure here, so that fallow died already. Nice. Um, no, we're not going to break. So let's go pick this fallow deer up real quick, and then we'll fast travel back to Non and see if uh, that crashes our game. And Nana Stace is here as well. And hey, Nana Stace, how's it going? Just about to wrap things up, but glad you got to make it. And super looking forward to the lodges tomorrow. Uh, we'll be streaming, like I said, at some point tomorrow. Um, not in the evening time, of course, because that is Mr. Riki's spot. But during the day sometime, I uh, will be streaming. So just make sure you're tuned into Discord uh, so that you can get the announcement because YouTube has been... Uh, slacking on their uh, delivery time of the videos and streams when they go up. Why are they not running? Hello? <laughs> they bugged out. I don't know. Oh, nope. There she goes. <laughs> They're just a little slow. They take a little time to realize what's going on. Hi. <gasps> oh. That one headbutted me. <laughs> and here's that fallow. So you can still the fallow can still kill the fallow deer with twenty two. He just ran for a bit. There we go. Alright, let's go to non real quickly. Oh look at that hunting pressure. Gotta love that the fact that there's no needs on there. <laughs> I'm still calling in the geese here. Damn nuts, and they're not coming. <laughs> well, I had some up there, but yeah, it seems to be hit or miss still a little bit with the geese. But let's see. Just before I pick this one up, let's go ahead and take care of the goodbyes. Thanks again, Non, for joining me on the stream, bud. It was a blast. Ah, uh, no worries, man. No, thank you for having me. Always a good time. And thanks to each and every one of you out there in the chat hanging out and uh, just watching us be goofy. Uh, make sure you've clicked that like button. Make sure you're in the Discord. Link is in the description below. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow when we are playing on the Lodge and trying to fill it up with some rares and some, hopefully, some diamonds. So have a good rest of your night, evening, morning, everyone. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. See you guys.